Okay, take it slow. You can do this. I have no choice. I have no choice. Is this one of the rebels? There's a way in somewhere. A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes, through there. Ugh, the smell keeps getting stronger. I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? Talking tattoos with Uchu. Tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's, right? It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. <laughs> Looks like this is the only way, okay? full of oil and blood. Barry 
is down. Need to keep moving. Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? Must have taken hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to fill these channels. Silver box. This must be what Trinity is missing. There's the little rebel prince. Get out of the 
has something he wants to ask you. I think it's a favor. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. I've never seen Uchu so angry. Uchu? Really? What happened? Mm, I shouldn't gossip, but he and Kabil were arguing. They kept their voices down, but you could see the anger rising off of each of them. Seten <laughs> Saseni. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Hello, Ishiki. Beautiful animals, aren't they? Llamas, so gentle. Even the wild guanaco in the wilderness, they love to be petted. The gods approve. Bashi? <laughs> Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threatened, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. Why capybara? Hey! Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't the life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field, trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of these capybara all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. Hey, man, you can't 
chiquita pudiente y hay que chica más que chiquita y chiquita y chiquita que que yo que sea y que matilla acá y que ni por acá aquí más que no se planta a mano 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 Oh, uh, up. Can't carry anymore. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. said I'm a liar. Hello? Pisco sent me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. What outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Baititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. You've noticed the pools throughout the city, haven't you? Do you know why they exist? No, why? We once had a queen, a very vain woman. She ordered these wells dug so that as she walked through the city, she could always see her reflection. One day... She knelt beside one of the...
must be the temple I saw from the riverbanks. Stop. 